Live's homestyle Thanksgiving week continues with a dessert option from a very talented guest chef and award-winning TV host. If you're a fan of pumpkin and ricotta, you're going to love this pumpkin ricotta cheesecake. Please welcome the one and only Kelly Ripa. Ah. Hello. How have you been? So nice to see you. Oh my gosh, you. it's great to yes. see you, Ryan. Thank you're, you for you're having me. Of course, we're very excited about this this chef treat. So. Oh, you know, I was saying to Gelman, please let me cook with skills <laughs> like mine. You want to cook on the air? So we know what we're making. So uh, we know what we're making. We're making da Dave Mullins. It uh, tastes better than it looks. Mm. Uh, ricotta pumpkin cheesecake. Okay. So what you're going to start with is, and here's a little a little uh, hint for all of you. When you when you bake, when you're baking, you want to start with all of your ingredients at room temperature. It makes everything easier. It makes all of the components bind together much quicker and You easier. did your research. I did. I, I did. I've, okay. I've, I've ruined this cake three times. Now, um, what you need to do is separate seven egg whites. Okay. So Where do you want your, to put them? Put your whites in here and put your yolks in there. Okay. Reserve two egg yolks if you can. I didn't wash my that's hands. Good. That's okay. You're, well, do you have a separator? I mean, come on. That's not the way I would do it, but okay. Well, how would you fine. do it? It's fine. It's fine. Hey, I'm a bachelor. I live alone. Whilst you're doing that that way, whilst is that, you're doing is that, that in a very magical way, yeah. I'm going to... Save two yolks. Holy smokes. Save two yolks. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm almost there. Don't put your oh, shells sure. in there. We have some reserve. Don't worry about it. Did you want another child? Because no, here I've arrived. I'm it's like, it really is like having another child. Okay, okay. So you're, now, you're while you're this. doing that, I'm yeah. going to combine, <laughs> you want a cup and a half of uh, ginger snaps. Yeah. Ginger snaps ground up. I put mine in the magic bullet and ground it, and it's really nice, easier than a, okay. I do. Okay, you right, gotta, get, you gotta get that. I thought yolk. you'd wanted two yolks in there. No, no, no. no what are you yelling at me, Galman? Not in there. All right. Not in there. They didn't tell me okay. about this segment. I know. I, well, okay. Stop putting your shells in there. All right. Okay. Good. This is going exactly as I thought it would. It's like, you know what? This, re this reminds me of cooking with Regis. So I'm not, not going to lie. Well, but okay. Now, now instruct me. What do I do? Okay. Now you're gonna you're gonna fluff up your whites. Put them in there fluff and beat them until whites. they're fl fluffy and like they have soft peaks. Okay. Now. Push that, push that now, down. Flip I have my uh, cup and a half oh, of ginger on. snap crust. You can either. Yep. Oh my lord. Well, I, okay. I'm good at the turkey on the grill. Oh, there you go. There go. All right. Okay. Uh, nice. I'll be now, over here. You can either add a quarter cup of granulated sugar. I believe that the ginger snaps are sweet enough that you don't need the sugar. And then you're going to add a quarter cup of melted butter, mm. and you're going to combine these, these ingredients until it becomes nice and um, like it smushy. Delicious. Yeah, it does. It smells really good. When this is all blended, you're going to press it into the bottom of your uh, cake pan, okay. which I like to spray with Pam. You can line it with parchment paper, you can line it with nonstick foil, whatever you want, but you put it in here and you press it, press it, press it into the bottom of the pan. How is it, how are your eggs? They're, you I'm doing a turn masterful a job over here. Uh, now, do you normally make everything for your Thanksgiving? No. You don't? No. Do you I, assign different I try to assign delegate? as much. Yeah, I delegate as much as I, possible. I, despite my skills today, I'm not bad with a turkey. Yeah, no. Are, well, really? Yeah, I can deep fry it, or I can grill it, or I can do it in the oven. I've heard about people burning their kitchens down deep. Yeah, I, we did catch one of the chairs outside on fire once. What you do is, once you've mashed down your, um, your crust into the into the uh, pie pan, then you're going to bake it for 10 minutes for 350 degrees. Now, while that's baking, and... I did it. Oh, oh, no. look at him. I didn't do it. No, he didn't do it. Stop. Yeah. All right. Stop. No. Wrong. <laughs> no. While that's happening, I'm going to take three cups of ricotta cheese in a large bowl. And I'm going to, it's soft peaks. It's got to look like, like clouds in the sky. Well, if you would have told me that, I would have done it. And one and a half time. cups of pureed pumpkin, okay? Stratus, This is the easy part. One cup of sugar. By the way, the recipe for this is on our website. One and a half tablespoons of vanilla extract, one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg. A quarter teaspoon of allspice, and then the very controversial one teaspoon of baking powder. We've all had a lot of questions about the baking powder. It's just to make the pie cake fluffier. It's for fluffiness, okay? Then 
We're going to blend this together and yep. add our two reserved egg yolks, yeah, maybe, which I'm going maybe two to and a half. scoop out of here. One, <laughs> two, two. Perfect. that seems right. We have omelets Thank in the morning. You. Thank you. Now you're cooking the right way. We're going to blend this all together. How's it looking over it's there? It's looking like thick clouds. Is it? Can Is I bring it? it? Yeah, you can bring it. Turn it off. Let's see. I mean, we don't see a lot of clouds in LA, but I think. Yeah. Well, now I'll. I'll <laughs> Where, I need my mother. I really need my mother today. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Okay, first of all, I would. I'm, I'm much better with One Republic than I am at cooking. <laughs> okay, I know. That's good. Okay. Everybody has something there you that go. they're good. That's great. All right, okay. we're getting there. Now. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah. Now. <laughs> what we're going to do okay. next is we're going to fold in our egg whites. Do you know how to yes, fold? Yes, I've seen that done. Right. On okay. the so yeah. what I like to do is I like to separate, okay. and then you fold in one nice. group, nice and soft, mm -hmm. like that, and then I, I would- eat it. I know. And then I would fold in the rest, nice. You don't wanna, you don't wanna over, over fold, okay. because then it like, it beats the heck out of everything. So you finesse it. Yeah, you finesse right. it a little bit. Okay. And then once it's all blended together, we're gonna pour it into our pie pan right. right over here. Apparently I slowed this segment down. No, Whoa. no, this is good. We did it. And once this is all in the pan like this, uh -huh. nice oh, and Oh yeah, even, that looks great. You bake it. How long? For 90 minutes. Perfect. What temperature? At 350 degrees. Got it. And what you do is you check on it. If it starts to get too dark, because uh -huh. it will get dark, and I mean blackened on top, <laughs> you want to put a piece of foil on top so it doesn't get too dark. Otherwise, your kids won't eat it. Now, to prevent it from cracking, <laughs> I know this, I've done it three times. To prevent it from cracking, you keep it in the oven for an hour after it's done. You turn the temperature off and you keep it in the oven and that will hold it together. And then for the best, the way it's served best is refrigerated right before you serve it. That really binds mm -hmm. it all together. God, now we're gonna, we're gonna cut and taste it. Are you ready? I'm ready for this part. Should yes. we cut this one or this one? Well, this I one like one. it darker. I like the, this well, okay. This is the one. Oh, then I'll take that one. That's the one. Yeah, that one's that's been the one been you can, That's the one you can cut and take home to, you, <laughs> to your mom. Yeah, Show her what you learned today on yes, TV. She'll be so thrilled okay? with me. There you go, Ryan. Okay, thank you, you Kelly. Angel. Chef Kelly. Yes, Appreciate Chef it. Kelly. And then, oh, be careful. There's a little foil on the bottom, so mm. be careful. Okay. Okay. I'm getting Ready? foil. It's good. What do you mm. think? Oh my God, it's good. And the temperature, it's cool. Tastes mm -hmm. great. Chef Ripoff. This is much better oh. than the one I made. I couldn't have done it without you. When we come back, when we're done, it's been a, a performance. Check out the recipe on livekelly.com. Like mm -hmm. yes.